morning everybody i am fully made up waiting on my hair and i am trying this i just want to show you what i'm having for breakfast it's quaker it's dark is what it is quaker oats weight control instant oatmeal and I'm trying to eat a little healthier and i'm using milk instead of water i just prefer it but what i really like about this is you measure you dump out your packet of oatmeal and then you there's a fill line on here and you fill the water or milk in there and then pour it in the bowl and microwave and then I don't have to it's like one less dish or one less um, I guess utensil to not have to wash so I'm just gonna stir it up and pop it in the microwave I like my oatmeal rather thick like porridge I guess in my head that's how I think of it um, so I overcook it. I cook to like two minutes, which is like a thick, gloppy mess. And then I will add a little brown sugar because everybody needs a little sweetness and blueberries. Blueberries are key. And it is a little bit gloomy and dark today, which is good because it's December and I'm really sick of almost 80 degree weather. This is silliness, which is crazy. So, see you in two. Bumper fix at body shop with Michael and Jake's car. Jake's little baby's over there. Probably can't see it. It's over there. The front undercarriage or something is like the part that's attached, the bumper's peeling off the bumper and kind of dragging. And so we're trying to see if they can fix it. And they can, but not until next week. So now we have to take the car back to school, which is kind of annoying. Um, but uh, it's like a quick fix. They can kind of screw it back together and it should hang for a while and then it needs a whole new bumper, which does not sound good. Michael's not happy. He thinks Jake did something to make the thing fall off, but how much is a new bumper? That sounds expensive. Not, not good. Anyway, um, so we're just, I'm just hanging in a parking lot of a body shop while they talk car stuff. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> And I just filmed a video this morning, so I'm like crazy made up. And um, I'm gonna film another one, hopefully when we get back. This is the plan. Just hanging. I need to blend a little. Hey guys, we just finished. We usually get lunch at our club at least once a week and we're cutting through the members bar, which is deserted right now because it's the middle of the afternoon. One would hope there's nobody in here drinking, but not a pretty fireplace. Can't really see it, but it's really cute. And I keep meaning to just bring my laptop and do some work here sometimes because they have free Wi-Fi. And they redid the bar, and look at this. The tables have outlets and USB ports. You could charge your phone, your laptop, what have you. But the best part about coming to the main club is they have the best mints. Like, I, always, whenever I come, I always make sure I get a mint. So, here's the lobby. Not pretty. Oh, don't put it back! Shane just tried a chocolate, doesn't like it, put it back. I didn't this put it back. Is a staple in our snack family. That is ramen noodles made like pasta with butter and mozzarella cheese. Where are you going? Away. Where? No, seriously, Shaney. Hey. You eating it in the study? Okay. Does anyone else have a problem with their kids taking food out of rooms that should be eaten in? No, that's bad grammar. You know what I mean. Like out of, a, like up into their bedrooms. I can't tell you how many times we've lectured them. No food upstairs, no food in your bedrooms. I think at least once a week I find candy wrappers and so forth, I don't know. Anyway, here's some of the cookies my sister-in-law sent me. This is a... Uh... What flavor are the home and these are apricot home and tashin. The cream cheese ones did not hold up very well. They came like this, but I'm sure they taste good. And then the rugula is a kind of Jewish Eastern European pastry. And these have raspberry. And these are walnut and currant. I'm gonna try an apricot home and tashin. I've never had one of those before. I prefer poppy seed, but you know what? This time of day, 5-12, any cookie is a good cookie. Hey, 
Hey guys, I'm just chilling out, sitting in front of the computer, editing videos that are going up in the next week or so, and I'm like, huh, there aren't any comments popping up on today's vlog. Wonder what's going on there. Didn't I schedule it? So I go and look at my videos. No, I didn't schedule Vlogaday's Day 15 because I didn't edit Vlogaday's Day 15. It didn't exist. So at 8 o'clock at night, I started editing at 8.02, I would say, and it is uploaded as of 8.40. That was a record uploading time, and it'll be, well, ready to go in six minutes, so there you go. Okay, the battery light is linking, blinking at me. I guess this is a sign that I should shut it and call it a night. So thanks for hanging out with me again today, and tomorrow we're going to get our hair done, guys, so that should be pretty exciting, and going to see my friend Mallory, who designs her own jewelry, so I can't wait to check that stuff out. And I think that's pretty much the excitement for tomorrow. But hey, you know, that's two things I get to look forward to doing. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me for another day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Is, since I'm spending most of the day actually making real videos and not vlogs, I wanted to show you my current setup. So this is crazy. Okay, this is what I see 